Members of the Broke Boys Club, new day, new grind, and we starting this episode a little differently. So I had to go ahead and punch a locker code. I'll put it on the screen for those of you guys that haven't already. I was told it was going to expire soon, so I had to go punch it in on my phone right away. But this is pretty much going to give you a guaranteed hero player, whether that's a pink diamond or a galaxy opal. Now, obviously, we want the galaxy opal super bad because that could be Kuzma, that could be Sabonis, that could be Tony Kukoc. I mean, the possibilities, they're endless. Like dropping it right there. Is that the money spot? Oh, come on. Let's go. That's how you start an episode, man. Welcome to episode 23 of our Broke Adventures. Unauctionable, possibly a dark matter? I did not know that. If that's actually serious, that's crazy. I don't think I've seen anyone pull a dark matter out of it, though, but... Yeah, man, what's up? We back on the account. Y'all can see not too much has changed since the last episode. We're level 40, 100k MT. Now, 2k had an insane drop this Friday, which I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be making some major changes to this no money spent lineup. On top of that, they revealed that there's gonna be lock-ins for the hero set. So for those of you guys that haven't seen, we go over here, hero set. People can lock in for a Dark Matter Minute Bowl, and they can also lock in for a Dark Matter Chet Holmgren. Now that people know what it is, Prices are starting to go back up on these hero cards. So at one point, Kyle Kuzma was all the way down to like 25 to 30k MT. Now we can actually sell him back for the price that we bought him for, and we can just chill out on that. And we might have to do that because, like I said, the cards that came out this Friday, they were already insane. Now, y'all can see the brand new set here was interdimensional. Inside it, you've got a lot of the playoff cards. You've got this guy right here, Manu Bull, and his son literally dropping the same weekend is crazy, and he can play small forward. So I just just know unlimited is about to be even more of a headache for us but then there's this Luka Doncic I did a gameplay on him on my new burner account he's phenomenal hero version of Bulbul Bul is scary you got Tim Thomas I mean they brought out all the cards man now it's actually nice once we get to the Galaxy Opal Mark Gasol is a card I'm looking to get on the account for sure Shane Battier is insane Mike Miller is insane Lamar Odom's Odom is insane Kevin Porter Jr is insane all the cards they dropped whether you're a budget player or someone that spends money on the game you're gonna be eating now stay away from this George Mirasan and the other George Mirasan they're not going for much MT for good reason he only has 25 speed I don't understand how Yao Ming is the only player in the game above 676 that has more than 25 speed him and taco got juiced and every other tall card just sucks there's the regular one I haven't heard too much about this Isaac Bonga but I wouldn't be too surprised if he's really nice now I went ahead and I got these challenges done in the skill you go all the way to the bottom there's the interdimensional we got it all done so we got two packs here to open in this episode also got a hall of fame badge here for the weekly wheel spin really wanted it to land on malik Sealy, but unfortunately that's gone now we did get some new triple threat and triple threat online players and we'll talk about that in just a second but right now we got some packs to open now of course if you guys are new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button i think we're closing in on 421,000 subs so i want to see that number before our next episode i know y'all got me and of course if we get 2,000 likes you know what 2,500 likes on this video i got y'all with the next episode as soon as possible right here it's gonna be a diamond shoe nothing too special and honestly i think i'm gonna start with the unauctionable one because that carries less hype hopefully you know these challenge packs they don't screw me like they have in the past i was low-key hoping for that uh dark matter glow now for opals we want kuzma or we want sabonis nobody else because then I can sell my other ones and I can be chilling. Who is that? Western? Power forward? Is that Kyle Kuzma? Wait, why did he look bald? Oh, he's not bald. I don't, so I was actually thinking of his hairstyle because I was like, I don't see the twists. Boom, just like that, I got myself a free Kyle Kuzma from a locker code. We can go ahead and we can sell our normal one. This is a dub locker code by 2K. Usually, they've been really bad with locker codes this year, but I will give them the flowers when they do something nice. And that one's going to benefit me nicely because just like that, I'm getting like, what, 45K MT back. So that's a dub. All I need now is to see a shake out of this interdimensional pack and we're vibing. Give me the vibes. Okay. Now, please don't be a pink diamond, because if it is, that's a guaranteed Christian Braun or Grant Williams. And we we don't want any of that, right? Right? Ah! Now, this could be good. We might be able to get George Mirasan. If we get the hero version of Mirasan, that's going to be a good amount of MT. 
but I doubt it's going to be that giant man. That looks like it's going to be Western point guard. Is that Isaac Bonga? Hold on. Hey, we can make this work. I actually haven't tried this card out yet because I could not pull him when I did my pack opening. So we can see what this card's all about. That's valid. Hey, we actually got blessed out of both of our free packs. Let me know in the comments, what are you guys getting from your challenge pack as well as the locker code? But hey, we got a Kyle Kuzma. Okay, so the cheapest Kyle Kuzma is 48,000 MT. Yeah, cash me out, man. Cash me out. While we wait for that to sell, let's look into some of these new Galaxy Opals. I got a feeling Marcus Gasol is going to be going for a bit higher because everyone's been hyping him up on Twitter. Everyone's saying he's one of the best bigs in the game, and to no surprise, man, he's going for probably over 50,000 MT. So the cheapest Marcus Gasol right now is 59,000 MT. Now, if I can maybe sell my Mo Bamba, because he's probably going for a good price, or honestly, my Carl Anthony Towns, does he still have any value whatsoever? Because I'd like to make some MT off him. Cheapest one is looking like 20-ish K MT, but you know what? 20 K MT off a 59 K purchase would not be a bad. Hey, 55,000 MT, I will take that. Is that low-key a snipe? I guess kind of. Will he eventually go down in price? Probably, but the fact that he is a seven foot one center that can play power forward means, uh, yeah, we're moving Mo Bamba to the bench. I haven't decided if I'm gonna sell him just yet. Now, last I heard, this card was going for a cheap price, and indeed he is. Galaxy, a Galaxy Opal is going for under 10,000 MT. I don't even have to worry about sniping. That's just gonna have to be an easy pickup. We're gonna have to see what he's like. So lastly, we've got this Galaxy Opal Kevin Porter Jr. I tried him on my burner account. I did only play one game with him, but I really liked him in that one game. Oh, 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 no! I changed the filter and scratched my face for literally two seconds. And that's, oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness. 19,000 MT, I'll just take the 26K, bro. I'm not sitting around for that much longer. That's wild. Maybe I was on the wrong number. I swear there's times where like I'll sit on one number and it won't work for a while. I scroll up just a little bit and then suddenly that snipe pops up. I knew I was too late the moment I started scratching my face, bro. That's ridiculous. But um, we got the Shane Battier piece. We got the KPJ piece. And we're going to get some MT back because uh, Kuzma and Carl Anthony Towns, they both sold. All right, man. So take a look at this. This is a 7-1 center, aka power forward. And they changed his jumper. It's actually a faster jumper than Mo Bamba. Look at that. There is a reason this man is going for 60K. And I'm not going to lie to you. If he was going for 75, 80, 90K, I was going to buy him on the no money spent. This is one of the best bigs in the game. You can argue he is better than level 40 Hakeem Olajuwon. Now, what's good is having both of them. Marc Gasol is amazing. Shane Battier. This card is going for 10,000 MT. And I don't really understand why. Because I believe he's got the curry slide he does. And look at how fast that jumper is. Now, everybody knows Kevin Porter Jr. has one of the best bases in the game. And for good reason. I mean, look at how fast that jumper is. I believe he's got the curry slide too. He does into a three. Splacack. Easy three just like that, man. And he moves really nicely too. The only thing I wish is that he had his afro. Why did 2K give us a player card art with the afro and not give us the afro, man? But yeah, this <laughs> is one of the best point guards in the game. Especially for his price, it's gonna be crazy. Joe Ingles is gonna be fighting for that starting point guard position for his life. So this right here is the team. The most dangerous, no money spent team out there. We got Gasol now, we got KPJ. Shane Battier is at the three right now, but I eventually wanna move him to the two if I can confirm he's better than Antoine. And then probably pick up Kukoc again because I didn't hate Kukoc and now he's going for a cheaper price. But today, ladies and gentlemen, the one thing I really wanna secure is that Galaxy Opal Sean Livingston, something we've been hunting for all season. Y'all see the record, 20 and 13. We're hooping for a team on a budget, and now that we got some new additions, I want to see what else they can do. Marcus Saul, KPJ, take us to the promised land, baby. Yeah, KPJ, you know how to get into. There we go, stopping, popping. Bro, that jumper is beautiful. Beautiful. Now, we're matched up against another budget team here. We're definitely off to a slow start, but uh, yeah, I can guarantee you we're not losing this game. I thought we'd get more of a challenge here for the new cards, but I'm cool with chilling. Throw that inside. Thank you very much. We'll take that. And look at Marcus Salt. He's got the speed. Goes for the tomahawk, and he puts it down. Look at Marcus Saul on the boards. Hold on. He's got takeover. Let's get this man at three. Cross it over. Hold on. KPJ wants to cook right now. Never mind. That's too much space there for Marcus Saul. And he knocks down the three. One of the best bigs in the game, man. I'm telling you.
Give me that. Oh, that's a steal. Marcus Saul, defensive player of the year. Spin move. Pump fake. No one's jumping. Okay, let me go ahead and let me take that dunk. Hold on. I might just score every bucket with this card to show y'all how good he is. We've been trolling too much in that first quarter. So, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead. Let's go on a crazy run. And let's, like, let's get this guy out of here. And just like that, he's out. That's an easy, quick win right there. Be good to me, Vault. Be good to me. Try. Two tokens. Like, bro, it is just horrible. Now, I forgot to tell you the new people online is... Dark Matter Gilbert Arenas, which most people aren't gonna want. That's a 6'3 point guard while you're dropping 6'10 point guards in packs. And then when you go to Triple Threat offline, it's gonna be Dark Matter Alonzo Morning. Now that's a solid, solid card. He is only 6'10, but him being able to play power forward, that's gonna be huge. We keep going. I think in about what, two to three ish more games, Sean Livingston is home. Okay, okay. Now, now this right here is gonna be a challenge. Ilgoskis at the three. That's always so annoying. Lock it up, lock it up. Good switch, good switch, good switch. Throw it out. Good defense. I made him throw that out to Marcus Saul. Started off with that dunk, baby. Give me that. Go. Oh, I am on it on defense. Can we get some spacing here? Thank you. All right, down the middle. Swing it. Hakeem, you're like that. You're like that, Hakeem. Give me all three of those. Fake that. Good D, good D, good D, good D. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Good defense nope. there, Gasol. Get the rebound. We fighting for boards out here. Push the pace, push the pace. We running, who's running with me? Nobody all the way for Kevin Porter and he's gonna put it down in transition. We're up 12 to three. I'm getting that Sean Livingston. Swing, one more swing. Glenn Rice to start the second quarter. Seven to 22. Come on boys. Nice rebound there, man. We got so much real estate right now, it's crazy. Oh yeah, Glenn, you want another three? You can have it. You can have it all. Oh. Slow it down, read the defense, read the defense. Now slip the screen. I see how he's playing. He was trying to go over the screen this time and we just packed yet another man up 30 to 10. Come on, man. Just give me the Gilbert Arenas. He's not even one of the better players to get. He's probably the worst vault player we've gotten in a while and I still can't get him. We're about two wins away, two good wins away here. We're gonna make this man do cardio. That's right, Sabonis. You're doing cardio. Get down there all the way through and that's an easy dunk. All right. I don't think I'm gonna need my Sabonis on the floor because usually he's a lot easier to guard than like a taco fall, but we'll see how things go. Give me a screen. Cross it up. Thank you. Right to that leaner. That's you. That's you, Glenn Rice. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Y'all are hooping today. I mean, that's a steal. <gasps> what? That's good defense by Gasol too. That's unfortunate. Hands up, hands up. He's gonna pass it. He doesn't pass it. That's fine. You're not getting that off on time. Good defense! Lock it up! Glenn Rice almost has his takeover. Hit that screen. Oh my goodness. What is this spacing right now? Right around him. Back to Glenn. Pump fake. Inside to Kuzma. Got a standing dunk that next time. Good assist. I think Glenn has takeover now. So yeah, now things get spicy. Second quarter time. Hit that screen. Yes, sir. All the way, got him. Inside to Usman, pump fake. No one's there, that's an easy assist. I'm using Usman as my screener. I'm gonna make his point guards work. Catch and shoot, yeah. You wanna play that far off on Hakeem? Go right ahead, buddy. Go right ahead. There we go, get the rebound, kick it out, kick it out, kick it out. Hakeem, get down there, that's not a foul. Oh, I was trying to get that and one. Way to run in transition though. Catch, shoot, that's you, Hakeem. Hakeem, you've been so big. He keeps sagging off with his big men, keep doing that. Keep doing that. Keep running, Battier. Keep running. That's an easy pass. Way to go ahead and go for the easy front clutch. I love full court pressing. It honestly makes scoring way easier for me. Is he out of here? Did we make yet another person? That's an eight second violation. Three opponents have left the match, man. Three of them. What we doing, man? What we doing? Another player pack. Ah. <sighs> One last dance here, ladies and gentlemen. He's got Gasol, he's got Giannis, KG. Ben Simmons at point guard is something I have not seen in a long time. Hit that screen though, cross it up, thank you. KPJ, I need you to turn up for me, baby. Let's go. Ezzy, cross that up, thank you. We gone. Oh, Glenn Rice, yo, we gotta get some kind of spacing here. Cross it up, yes sir. Leaner, I need something. I need something, Glenn. Woo. Swing, pump fake, thank you. Cross it up. Look at Marcus all doing work. He's doing work. Hey, oh my goodness. Good defense there, Kuz. Good defense there, Kuz. Way to hold down your position. Who's gonna be open? Gasol. Hey, and one! And one! We gone? All the way to the basket. Marcus Saul. That's you, baby! Bang! Jump, 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 jump. Good defense. So bonus will not be mashing. We're in the second quarter here and uh. Yeah, we're definitely vibing. Oh, that's the mismatch I'm hunting. 
Get down there. Get down there. Mash. Mash. And one, Hakeem. Come on, baby. Good defense. Good defense. Get the rebound. He's trying to mash, and it's just not working. We'll go to Glenn first. Slow down. Inside to Gasol, and then that's the dunk. He's definitely looking like the MVP of today's game here. Let's get the ball to Marc Gasol, who so far has just been amazing. Oh, my goodness. The behind the back. Get down there. Why is there so many bodies? Shane Dimes. Pow. Ooh. Ooh. Make the pass. Make the pass. Stopping. Swing. Shane. Pow. Nah, Shane Battier is crazy. We're in the second half, and at this point, man, we're just coasting. Cross it up. Thank you. Adios, Ricky Davis. Shane Battier is very nice. I can imagine him being amazing at shooting guard, especially with that defense. Has he? Oh, Marcus Gasol, what a dog. Easy blow by, bro. The fact that I'm just cooking KG on crossover moves is hilarious. My favorite thing, man. Team takeover. Snatch back, snatch back. Stupid. Oh, he's jumping. Stopping and popping. Come on, Glenny. Come on. Yeah, this game's over. I'm going to be honest. Got him. <laughs> bang, bang. It's good. I'm just telling you guys right now, Kevin Porter Jr. is so legit. Marc Gasol is amazing. Glenn Rice continues to be amazing. And I was really happy with this Shane Battier. All those new pickups, they were valid. Two tokens once again. But I don't care because guess who's coming home? Sean Livingston, baby. That's another new addition to the roster, man. All right, man. So when it's all said and done, this is what the roster is looking like. We got KPJ and Sean Livingston. I'm probably going to end up selling that Joe Ingles. I'm very happy with most of these cards. If anything, I might be looking to improve Antoine Jameson at that shooting guard spot and move Shane there and then get the Tony Kukoc. But honestly, I'm not sure because the team that I got right now, it's really vibing. If anything, Kuzma might have to come off the bench just so I have a bit more defense on the perimeter. Because like they've got defensive of stats but they don't really have animations like that and kuzma doesn't really have the wingspan plus glenn and kpj can carry my offense and then kuzma can carry my offense off the bench so i think that's probably what i'm gonna try to do but guys i'm exhausted that was a lot of unlimited games for one video i hope y'all enjoyed this episode next episode we're jumping into clutch time online i need some water and i need to go outside i'll see y'all later